are the top five real Lanky Box stories that you will not believe. From the most embarrassing day of Justin's life to a kid pulling a fire alarm to skip a school test. And even the real story of a Roblox billionaire who gets his account deleted. You are not ready for this emotional roller coaster of video. Stick around to the end for this secret video because you do not want to miss it. Let's go! Oh, Adam, now today the story I'm going to tell you. Oh, man. This is the story of the most embarrassing day of my life. <laughs> okay. Now, this story takes place back in middle school. Now, you already know a lot of embarrassing things happen at that age. Uh -huh. You know, middle school is an awkward time. I was a very awkward kid. Okay. What? Still Still am now, <laughs> but I was even more cringe, more awkward back then. How could you possibly get more cringe than we already I, are I now? I don't know if you could even imagine that. <laughs> Basically, this whole story revolves around something we all know and love. Actually, something we all know and hate. Group projects oh. at school. Oh, Dude. man. Anytime the teacher is like, all right, guys, pair up for a group project, I hate it. You are immediately in trouble because y'all know we don't have any friends. <laughs> Nobody's grouping up with us. And also, this story involves a girl. Got some romance. This story about to get crazy. This story takes place in middle school art class. Okay. So in art class, everybody gets assigned to a different table. You don't get to choose where you sit. Okay. Okay, <laughs> my table was three people. It was me and two other boys. Now we were randomly assigned our table mates and these two kids, okay, one of them, literally everyone at school referred to this kid as Danger Dan. <laughs> This guy was the original bad boy. Well, wait, wait. Danger Dan? Oh, no, Danger Dan? What did people call you? Juicy Justin? What? <laughs> Everyone called him Danger Dan because he was very scary. Very okay. aggressive. He was like very large, uh -huh. like tall and large at a young age. Uh huh. And he had actually been suspended once before because he got in a fight with some other students. Okay. So Danger Dan was like really quiet. He always looked very intense. Yeah. And he just kind of sat in the corner. He was very scary, okay? And the other kid, we had Danger Dan, and the other kid, his name was Willis. <laughs> Dude, this was the most cringe art table of all time. You got Justy, you got Danger Dan, and you got Willis. And Willis is really one of the centerpieces of this story. Now, Willis was a very awkward kid, very shy, just like me, uh -huh. except a little bit less cringe. Uh -huh. He was just very quiet, like uh -huh. a very reserved kid. Okay. okay. So now the art teacher comes in and says, okay, we're going to have our final project before break. Everybody needs to get in random groups based on your table and do this together. I said, what? <laughs> I got to work with Danger Dan and Willis? <laughs> Why? This art teacher did not like our table. Uh -huh. She's Why? like, these kids are troublemakers. Two of them are very cringe. <laughs> and one of them is a troublemaker. Okay. She didn't like us. Dude, I could not make this up. She literally split up the art studio because like all the groups need a place to work. She gave our table to another group. She put us in a closet. <laughs> like, I could not make this up. It was a dark, musty closet where all the art supplies were. Uh -huh. And she's like working there. There's no windows. <laughs> there's nothing in there. What was the project that you guys had to do together? We just had to make some sort of art project and then present it in front of the class. Okay. The group project was not off to a good start. Okay, I'm gonna say for about the first three days, nobody said anything in that closet. <laughs> we just sat there. Just looking at each other. Dude, I remember this to this day. Danger Dan was sitting there and he would take pencils <laughs> from the art supplies because we're in the supply closet and he would just break all of them. Like, who does that? And you and Willis are just watching him. Just... I was terrified. I said, get me out of here. A few days go by and you know, we got a couple weeks to put this together. I'm like, it is crunch time. I cannot let my grades slip because you know, I have a big brain. I got to do well in school. Okay. I said, I got to make a play. I got to do something. I got to break the ice. We're wasting too much time. You're going to save this group project. I, I got to, it's like an anime, like a sports team anime. <laughs> I gotta come in and unite everything.
everybody <laughs> because these two kids clearly don't care about their grades uh -huh. and we need to do well. So one day I go to class. I'm determined to make a change. I'm still scared of Danger Dan because he's still there snapping <laughs> pencils, not talking. So I said, okay, I'm going to go try and talk to Willis. So I go up to Willis, just introduce myself, try to get a conversation going. It's very awkward, but we actually connect. Because I learned that Willis likes to play chess. Okay. And you know, awkward, nerdy, middle school Justy is a chess master. <laughs> okay, I went to all the tournaments. I'm bringing home the trophies. So Willis likes to play chess. So what we actually do is we use some of the art supplies and we paint it like a chess board and we used to play chess together in the closet. You made your own chess board? We had nothing else to do. <laughs> so a few days go by, things are getting better and Danger Dan starts to open up a little bit too. He starts to watch us play. He's very interested in what's going on. Uh-huh. He probably just ran out of pencils. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to stab you guys. <laughs> so I start to connect a little bit with Danger Danger Dan. Also, I find out he likes to play video games online. Okay. And again, you know awkward, nerdy, middle school Justy is playing lots of online video games. Now, you know I like to play Maple Story, some fun stuff. Some Club Penguin. <laughs> Why you gotta expose me? <laughs> Just because I got 50 Club Penguin accounts. So Danger Dan likes to play some older, like some violent games, you know, online. Uh -huh. And he used to like teach me, like share tips. And we would actually go home from school and we would play together online. Okay. So I start to be friends with Willis and friends with Danger Dan through our nerdy hobbies. This is going great. Yes, it was going great. And soon it was literally like fun to go to art class. Yeah. So we just get to hang out in a closet unsupervised, just chill. Yeah. A few days go by and I say, all right, guys, got to get a team huddle in here. <laughs> guys, we need to make some sort of project. <laughs> My life hinges on getting a good grade in middle school school art class. We had all connected now. We felt closer to each other and Willis opened up to us. This left me shook. So there was this girl in art class. Her name was Isabel. She was very pretty. She was a very nice girl. One of the popular girls definitely out of the league of me, Willis, and Danger Dan. Okay, well that's not saying much because every girl is out of your league. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. None of them are out of yours, right? Because your neck is so long. Uh, weird flex, but okay. So Isabel was definitely one of the cooler kids. Really pretty, really nice. I kind of knew her. Like, I had, like, spoken to her a few times. Uh -huh. But, like, Willis and Danger Dan had never said anything to her in their lives. Mm -hmm. Well, Danger Dan just didn't talk to people. But Willis was really shy. Right. Like, he was really shy. To set this up, there was, in a couple of weeks, a school dance. There was, like, a homecoming-type dance. Oh. Okay. Okay. And so in this team huddle, Willis, like some sort of action movie hero, says, guys, I have a crush on Isabel. And you know what, guys? I feel empowered because now I have you two as my first friends. I think we should make it our project. We're going to present this in front of the class. Uh -huh. It should be a way for me to ask Isabel to the dance. Dude. Dude, Willis stepped up. Oh, my gosh. That's so creative. Willis smart. I was like, dude, you're a genius. Let's do it. Okay, so you and Danger Dan were basically now his, like, wingmen? Yes. Me and Danger Dan had all figured out Willis is about gonna get married. Let's go. <laughs> we're thinking real hard. For the next couple days, we're just thinking we're brainstorming. Uh -huh. We're drawing up the schematics. Now, had Willis talked to Isabel at all? No, never. Never in his life. So this is gonna be, like, his first time talking. Dude, he's gonna boss up. Dude, okay. He's just gonna go in. <laughs> now, at this point in my life, I had another hobby, another passion, making videos. Okay. So, in our class, they had like these really old school camcorders. Uh-huh. So they had like these camcorders that we could borrow, uh -huh. right? And so I was like, dude, what if we made like an action movie and presented like showed it in front of the class and at the end you ask her out to the dance. Dude. I was like, dude, everybody else in class playing checkers, the three of us <laughs> playing chess. Okay, we got a big brain, this gonna work. So you're gonna make a movie where Willis is the action star, and at the end of beating everyone up, he's like, hey, by the way, Isabel, do you wanna date me? That is exactly what it was. I, I still remember to this day, this plot was that Willis would play a spy, and he has a secret message he's gotta deliver. 
<laughs> and you already know what that secret message is. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> the secret message was Isabel, will you go to the dance with me? <laughs> so our team was so hyped. We were like, dude, this is the most 900 IQ play of all time. We're gonna get the girl, and more importantly, <laughs> we're gonna get A's. Okay? <laughs> so for the next few days, we go outside. Dude, this was so epic. They came to school with costumes. I came with the camera, right? I was uh -huh. behind the camera directing. We had like fight scenes where like Spy Willis had to fight Danger Dan. And Just like over and over again. Dude, he looked so tough because Danger Dan was huge. Everyone was terrified He's of him. Breaking pencils in the action scene. <laughs> this story gonna make it sound like I had a crazy childhood, but somehow Danger Dan brought like a real sword. <laughs> 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 like, 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 he brought like a ninja sword to school, like a real one, and we used it in the movie. I don't That's know how. dangerous. He's danger dead. <laughs> so we finished filming. I honestly remember, like, I was so hyped about all this, right? Like, this story's amazing. It's like a real anime. Uh -huh. We united three people who didn't know each other, didn't like each other. We found out this guy likes this girl. We made this movie, right? I stayed up multiple nights in a row editing this video. <laughs> <laughs> this was such a fun project at the end of the day. I was like, dude, this is amazing. And then the movie's done. The big day arrives. The final project? <laughs> the final presentation day arrives. The three of us roll up, you know, <laughs> stride out of the closet. Okay. <laughs> got the flash drive. Got the USB. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to know I hit them. No, put this on the big screen. <laughs> so we got it up on the projector. All the other groups present, you know, was in some kids like, I made a sculpture. <laughs> I made a clay pot. Whatever. You're just no. in the background laughing. <laughs> <laughs> then it's our turn. We put it on and we hit play. And that action movie starts. We got some spy music going on. Uh -huh. Willis comes out and says, I have been given a secret message to deliver. Dude. The fight scene goes down. It's crazy. Now, I'm gonna put a little pause in this story right now. So far, right? So far, this whole plan just sounds amazing. It sounds epic. On paper. On paper. Oh, no. This sounds epic. No, what's gonna happen? But, but realize this, Adam. No. Like, think for a minute, though. Like, imagine you're sitting in that class. You have to realize how cringe all of this <laughs> actually is. <laughs> because, because, like, the whole time... Like, <laughs> It was because we had spent so much time in that closet, we had lost our minds. <laughs> and like, we're socially awkward kids, so yeah. we didn't like have other friends to be like, hey, this is what we're doing. <laughs> hey, by no. the way, this is a bad idea. Yeah, nobody was like, dude, don't do that, okay? <laughs> in the moment, we're like, dude, these scenes are tough, like, this is crazy. But when we were actually just sitting there watching it, <laughs> about halfway through, I was like, <laughs> started sweating a little bit. What did Danger Dan and Willis think while they were watching? This? I don't really know. I was just staring at the screen. I was trying because I knew I could feel like the teacher and all the other students staring at us. They're like, who are these cringe kids? So I was just I just stared at the screen. I didn't want to look around. About halfway through the video, I realized, dude, this is probably the most cringe thing that's ever happened in my life. And to make matters worse, I know that in like two minutes at the end, he's going to ask Isabel to the dance. So I start to panic. I say, okay, time for Spy Justy to shine. Could I somehow stop the recording from playing? How do I save this? But ultimately, I did. Absolutely not. <laughs> and it gets to the end. And oh, like there's no. some smoke effects. No. Willis pops up. No. Having defeated Danger Dan and says, I have the secret message to deliver. No. Isabel, will you go to the dance with me? That was probably what the room just sounded like. Dude, just silence. It, it was silent <laughs> except for one sound. I cannot make this up. <laughs> Isabel started crying. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, Isabel literally started crying and left the class. Oh she just walked out. <laughs> Why did she cry? Because of how cringe it was. 
She literally cringed into tears. <laughs> to give her credit, look, Isabel was a very nice girl and she did actually end up saying yes because it would have just been like, she can't say no to that. <laughs> but that's probably why she cried also because she realized like, I can't say no at this point. Like everybody's seen this happen. <laughs> she went to homecoming with him as like a pity favor. Well, she couldn't say no, dude. He literally fought Danger Dan for her <laughs> with a sword. <laughs> that was hand down the most embarrassing day of my life. At the end of the day, we didn't get Willis the girl. We actually all got C's on that project. That teacher was not a moose, okay? But at least on the bright side, we had made friends with each other. Yeah. Even though it was cringe, Danger Dan and Willis stayed my friends for a long time after that. That's awesome. Hey, we came out of it as friends. You know, we were partners in crime. Or should I say, partners in cringe. <laughs> Today, we're watching a crazy story about a kid that pulls a fire alarm to skip a test. What? Check out what I bought for our trip to Legoland this weekend. Yo, that's so cool. Wait, how'd you even convince your mom to go? I thought you were grounded. I just told her I wouldn't fail any test this month. But what she doesn't know is I don't have any tests. I am such a genius. <laughs> mm. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dip these bigger in some cheese. Oh, wow. Okay. So this kid's about to go to Legoland because he's actually doing well in school. And then he has one of those cheese and crackers things and he just ate just the cheese. That's what I ate does. Yeah, and I say I got the cheese cut. Uh, <laughs> yuck. What's going on? Huh? <laughs> Let me see that again. I don't have any tests. I am such a genius. Mm. Help me at least to wash your hand first. What? You scared of Jesus? Oh, 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 oh. Dude, watch out! You almost pulled the fire alarm. Morning, boys. Hey. Morning. Hey, what you got there, Mr. Wilson? What, you mean this? This is a surprise. That doesn't sound good. Uh-oh, they got a surprise pop quiz. Okay, I get it. So this guy's allowed to go to Legoland if he aces all of his tests for the month. But he thought he didn't have any tests, but he might have a surprise right now, bro. Wow, guys, this video is gonna be linked down below. I saw some of the YouTube comments. People are saying this video is nuts. Okay, let's go. This is a surprise. That doesn't sound good. Not at all. You gotta be kidding me. He's gonna give us a pop quiz. Yeah, probably. I gotta find some way to get out of it. Oh. Come on, the reading last time was easy. It was? Yeah, didn't you do it? And miss out on my huge Minecraft tournament? No way! I gotta get out of this test somehow. Um, here we go again. Mm. I can pretend I'm sick! You already did that like five times and it never works. True. Maybe I can pretend like I broke my leg by slipping in this hallway. Whoa, whoa! Well, it's pretty hard to pretend that you broke a bone. Jay, when you broke your arm, was it all hunky-dory? Yeah, dude, that won't work. Besides, they're installing cameras now, so it'll be obvious she's freaking it. They're installing security cameras in the school to watch everything, bro. Wow, so he cannot pretend to, like, slip and break his leg. He can't pretend to be sick. He's gonna get caught. He's gonna pull the fire mm. alarm. Isn't he also gonna get caught for that? Oh, with his cheesy finger. Ah! <laughs> Cheese alarm. <laughs> ah! Besides, they're installing cameras now, so it'll be obvious she's freaking it. Good morning. Hey, good morning. So when do you think you'll have it working? I'm having a problem with the server. They're not connecting. Uh, hopefully by tomorrow. Great. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Today's my lucky day. Oh. Mikey, we have to tell you every single time, running away from problems just makes them worse. Please, Derek. I've been running away from my problems since first grade. Look where it's gotten me. Uh, where? Yeah, you've been suspended at least five times you have been grounded every single summer. And what's your GPA again? I don't want to talk about that. But I'm still the coolest kid in school. <coughs> yeah, right. <clears throat> all right, look, I'm gonna get our time, all right? <clears throat> Come on, Mikey. Face it. There's nothing you can do at this point. Don't underestimate me, all right? Oh, my God. Look, I'll figure something out. Okay, do not turn these over just yet. <laughs> What's going on with the cheese? What's going on with the cheese? I have a hunch that that cheese is actually going to play a big role in this story. 
I don't know, guys. I'm just gonna make a prediction that the cheese is gonna come back at the end of the video and bite him. Okay, okay. Okay, do not turn these over just yet. Hey, Mikey, no snacks in class. Put that away, please. Hey, you're supposed to use a cracker, not your finger. All right, everybody, what I have for you here is going to just have to wait one second. Ah! <laughs> What's going on? What is the cheese have to do with the story? That's what I hate him, guys. No! That's what I hate him, guys. That's what I hate him, guys, bro. All right, everybody, what I have for you here is going to just have to wait one second. Uh, keep him down, please. I'll be right with you. Did you hear what happened at Chesterfield High? Some punk pulled the fire alarm. They had to evacuate the whole school. I hope they got the guy that did it. Last I heard, they haven't figured out who it was. I got it. Got what? I'm gonna pull the fire alarm. What? what? That's a terrible idea. You're gonna get caught on camera. But he said the camera won't be working till tomorrow. Oh, dear God. But I think that's going a little too far, Mikey. What do they test for fingerprints? <laughs> then I'll pull it with my shirt. That way there's no fingerprints. I'm pretty sure, Mikey, that pulling a fire alarm is an actual crime. Yeah, guys, that's illegal. Never do that ever, bro. Why would he tell his plan to his friends? They're gonna tattle on him. Yeah, this is nuts. Never pull, unless there's obviously a real fire, yeah. but if there's not, you're gonna nah. get a huge trouble. This is crazy. I'm pretty sure, Mikey, that pulling a fire alarm is an actual crime. There could be very serious consequences What's that like thing if I got caught. Which will never happen. Do I have to explain it to you every single time? Your plans never work! Jinx! No, Jinx. I said it first. <laughs> I said it first. Of course they do. I'll prove it. Mr. Wilson, can I use the bathroom real quick, please? Yeah, okay, Mikey. Uh, just hurry back. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you. He's gonna pull it! Uh oh! Don't! Oh no. Hey, uh, young man, you need to help with something? Nope, just go into the bathroom. Well, you're going in the wrong direction. The bathroom is that way. Oh, yes, I know. I'm just getting something from my locker. Okay, well, when you do go, be very careful of the wet floor, okay? Yes, sir. One of the toilets overflowed. I'm getting nervous. What's he doing? Huh? No! Oh no! Bruh. Let's go, let's Bruh. go. Okay, everybody just remain calm. Remember what we practiced during the fire drill, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Uh oh. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All the other students and teachers evacuated on the west side. Hopefully, we'll get an update soon. What's up, Gents? Well, aren't you glad I got us out of that pop quiz? Can't believe you actually did that. Oh, and to add on, I also didn't get caught. Woo! Yeah, not yet. We'll see about that. Mikey, there you are. I was just inside looking for you. How long have you been out here? Well, I've been here since we evacuated. You didn't notice? No. Anyway, uh, I just spoke with Principal Danvers. It sounds like we're gonna be out here for a little while longer. Dang it, I was looking forward to that pop quiz. Man, no you weren't. I got a bad feeling, guys, that he will get caught. What? What does the cheese have to do with the story? I just want to know. I don't know, guys. I, I do know it is going to come back at the end of the video. I'm sure of it. All right, all right. Yeah, guys. Pop quiz? Mr. Oh, Wilson? The, uh... Can I speak to you for a moment? Yes, of course, Principal Danvers. What are you talking about? The better question is, what rides are we going on when we get to Legoland, baby? See, you I was thinking do. about that earlier. There's more to life than just skipping tests and going to amusement parks. No, there isn't. Oh my Mikey, he's right. You can't just expect to always get away without being caught. As my dad always says, running away from your problems just makes them worse. 
Well, my dad says that the moon is made of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so much cheese? <laughs> I don't like cheese. Guys, this is an important lesson. If you are eating cheese and crackers, don't use just your fingers. Like, use the cracker. Yeah, germ. Yeah. Adam just eats it with his hands. Oh, I know. He's disgusting. No. Yeah, he does. <laughs> well, my dad says that the moon is made of cheese. What's your point? His point is, is to stop pulling more pranks or else you won't be able to come to Legoland with us. Yeah, and your mom might even take away your talent again. You know what? Instead of being grateful, you guys are making me feel bad for what I did. All right, well, we're just waiting for the fire department to finish their rounds and make sure that everybody's safe. The fire department's here? Yeah, yeah, they respond to every fire alarm. Right. Well... Wilson? This is Captain Stoll. He's going to be asking everybody some questions today. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, looks like it was a false alarm. It's not the first time this has happened today, so I need to gather some more info. What were you and your class doing right before the alarm went off? Uh, well, I had just handed everybody some paperwork. A teacher came in, told me about what happened at Chesterfield. And then, that's about all I can remember. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Wilson. Of course. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I actually did give Mikey the key to the bathroom. You did? Yeah. Mikey, did you see anything? No, actually, um, you know, I heard someone running down the hall before the fire alarm went off, but that's all I remember. All right. Well, Captain Stoll, could you show us what you found so far? This is Batman. They're suspicious. Mikey looking a little sus. What do you think the detective here found? Well, I think he found some cheese <laughs> on the fire alarm, dude. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, man. Let's see. This is so weird. Of course. Follow me. Me too, Mikey. Uh -oh. Me? Why? Because you said you were the last one in the hall, right? So maybe you could provide some insight to us. Let's go. They know it was him already. Oh, but okay, how? none of that. I'll be right back. John. Yeah. Eddie, what? Yes. Uh, actually, I was able to get the camera started right when the uh, fire alarm went off. Wait, you were? Yeah, yeah. I thought I was gonna need more time, but I figured it out. Uh, here we go. Ah. Uh, it looks like the camera started right after everyone started walking away. Lucky me. I mean, phew. Luckily everyone's okay. Mikey, think. What else was happening in the hallway when you were here? Uh, let me retrace my steps. So, I left Mr. Wilson's classroom. Then I went to the bathroom. Hey, oh, the everybody. Does anybody know what happened yet? Not yet. Mikey is explaining what was happening. He went to the bathroom. That's odd. I was in there fixing the toilet when the alarm went off. I didn't see you. Well, um, that's because I ran into the girls' room. You did what? Well, you see, George told me that the, um, the toilets were overflowing, so I, uh, decided to use the girls' restroom. Okay, he's pretty quick on his toes. He's making up all sorts of lies. Wow, I probably would have been like, oh, I was getting a drink from the water fountain or he, something. Nah, that doesn't make sense. See, mm. you would have failed. Oh, really? Because why would you have to go to the bathroom and you also drinking water? It's too much. Oh! See what I'm saying? Didn't got think it. about that. Yeah, you're right. Didn't think about that and mm. would have been caught right there. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. He's thinking, but he's spinning his own web of lies. <laughs> he's gonna get caught in it, bro. <laughs> Not good. That's true. I, I did tell him. See? But the key that you took was for the boys' bathroom. Are you Principal Danvers? Yes, I am. I got the fingerprint kit. Now we can see who the suspect really is. Wonderful. It's right here. Thank you. They're gonna use a fingerprint test on the fire alarm to make sure it wasn't him, bro. Wow, this is like a full-on crime scene. They have like a bunch of police officers and firefighters and everybody. This is nuts. Now we can see who the suspect really is. 
Wonderful, it's right here. Thank you. Mikey, you were saying? What, what was the thing? Mikey, if you had a key to the boys' restroom, how did you get into the girls' restroom? Well, um, you see, the, the, there was a girl and she came out of the restroom, so I decided to sneak inside. I'm, I'm sorry, that was wrong. I don't know, that all sounds a little odd. Mikey, if you are covering up for someone else, you, young man, are in big, big trouble. Uh, I'm telling you everything I know, I, I swear. Principal? Yes. We didn't find any prints, but we did notice something odd. Can you come over and take a look? Of course. It looks like cheese dip. <laughs> oh, I got his face. <laughs> so much cheese in there. How is there so much? How do you get a whole? He got a whole brick of cheese in there. That's like the whole packet of cheese. You see that fire alarm? It was crusty. There's cheese everywhere. Wow, dude. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it looks like cheese dip. Cheese dip. Mikey, you were eating cheese in my classroom. What? No. You see, look, my hands are clean. That's because you just rubbed it all over your shirt. That explains why there isn't any prints. Use a shirt to pull the alarm. Oh, Mikey, how could you do that? Especially after all that we've been through. Please, just don't tell my mom. I didn't think all this was gonna happen. I just pulled it because I didn't want to do the pop quiz and just wanted to go to Legoland with my friends. Pop quiz? Yeah. No, Mikey, no, I just wanted to play a game with you all. A game? Are you serious? You mean I did all this for nothing? There was no quiz to begin with. The teacher just wanted to play bingo. Guys, Justin's really good at bingo, <laughs> Bingo though. was his name. <laughs> I'm good at bingo because I can see the future. So I know what is going to be called out. Right. But he literally would have been better off to just do nothing. And he would have been at Legoland right now. That's crazy. Now he's definitely in big trouble. He's grounded. Wow. Wow, and he still got cheese on him. I just pulled it because I didn't want to do the pop quiz and just wanted to go to Legoland with my friends. Pop quiz? Yeah. No, Mikey, no, I just wanted to play a game with you all. A game? Are you serious? You mean I did all this for nothing? <laughs> Mikey, you're coming to my office right now. No, please, I'm sorry. Actually, I have to stop you there, Principal. Thank you, officer. Thank you. You don't know how much I appreciate that. Mikey's actually gonna come with us. He's gonna get arrested! Wow! And his friends were telling him it was illegal! And he's gonna be in jail and he's gonna have cheesy fingers! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Mikey's actually gonna come with us. What? Pulling the fire alarm is a serious crime. You didn't know that? A crime? Yes, it is. I'm gonna take you downtown. Go. Sir, turn around. No, 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 no. It's okay. No, 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 please. Oh, don't worry about it. It's gonna be all right. No. Don't take me. Let me go. Let me What's go. going on? What are you doing with Mikey? Fred is under arrest for pulling the fire alarm. Eric! No, me, man. Mikey? <laughs> Mom! I can't explain. I was in the neighborhood and I heard that the alarm went off. Man. Seems like your son is the one who pulled it. What? Mom, please don't take away my tablet. And don't grab me. I just want to go to Legoland with my friends. That is what you're most worried about. You should be worried about going to Juvie. I'll meet you at the station. Yes, ma'am. But no, no. Come on, kids. Please, Mom. Oh, man, that's down bad, man. You be getting your iPad taken away in front of the whole school. That you down bad, bro. Yeah, that's the worst thing bruh, ever. Bro, I just have to add up. Yeah, and trouble. Justin too. Yo, he gets in trouble in front of the whole school. Me, Foxy, Boxy, Rocky, everybody. We have to watch him while his mom says, "I ain't him no more, man." <laughs> For a week. Like, Mommy, no, please. Yeah, then you do the bingo it's dance. Real embarrassing. <laughs> bingo. <laughs> like, that's the bingo dance, bro. <laughs> I'm not going! Let me go! Let me go! No! Jay, Derek, help! All I can say is, running from your problems just makes them worse. Ah! Hey, oh. yo! <laughs> 
today we're gonna be telling some of the stories of the scariest days of our lives. Oh man, oh man. Adam, I'm gonna tell my story first. This was a story in which I almost actually perished. Really? Yes, I was <laughs> almost swept off the face of the earth by a crazy clown. This takes place when I was in high school. Now, in high school, I didn't have a car. So I relied on, you know, sometimes my friends had cars, they would drive me around, whatever, or my parents could give me a ride, or I could take the public transportation, uh -huh. okay? I was hanging out with my friend at school, mm -hmm. and we were both into playing video games. Okay. And so he was like, you know what, you should come over, we should play some video games together, it's gonna be crazy. I'm like, oh, let's do it. I'm like, okay, this is perfect. I actually just got the new gaming console, and you know, I've been saving up <laughs> my allowance, you know? Uh -huh. I got the new console, I could bring it over to your house, we could play it together. Okay. He's like, oh man, let's go. I said, but you know, there's one problem, I don't have a car. I can't get there. Right. He's like, no problem, my parents can come pick you up after school and we can all go together. I'm like, okay, yeah, okay, done. Easy. Now, have you been to this friend's house before? No, I have not. Oh, okay. But you know, I was like, you know, we've been friends for a while, so you right. know, it don't matter. Right. The day comes, you know, I actually brought my console in my backpack to school. And so after school on Friday, his parents came and picked us up and we went to his house together. Uh -huh. Now, I didn't know this at the time, but his house just happened to be located in a pretty sketchy part of town. Oh, no. I didn't know that at the time. I was like, wow, well, whatever. So we get to his house, you know, it's, it's actually going fine. I'm, we're sitting there playing video games, you know, chilling, having a great time, you know, drinking some soda pop, you uh -huh. know, eating some chips, having a jolly old time. Pretty deep into the night, you know, we're still playing video games. And I'm not going to say this happens often, but I felt a little rumble in my tummy. So it was like, it was probably like midnight and I had a stomach ache. I was like, oh man. <laughs> too much like soda and I pizza. Had, and I had one too many donuts. <laughs> Clearly. Honestly, I was I was prepared to like sleep over, right? Uh -huh. You know, friends sleep over. Right. I was like, I gotta go home. Oh, you're getting this sick. Is, okay. I was getting sick. I was actually sick. I was like, I gotta go. But the problem was his parents were asleep. Okay, his parents were asleep. I couldn't get a ride back home. Oh, right. Okay, so I was like, ah, uh, you know. No problem, I'll take the bus. I, I'm very good at taking the bus. This will be no problem. Uh-huh. But like I said, this was not the nicest neighborhood. And so I realized about two minutes after leaving his house, I was standing in a sketchy neighborhood at night holding a video game console. I was like, ah, oh, this might not be the best idea. <laughs> okay, the bus finally arrives. I'm like, thank goodness. Okay, that took long enough. I get on the bus, I pay my change, and I go sit in the back. And I sit down with my little game console. Okay, no so problem. far this sounds pretty good. Except. No. After I get on the bus, one other person gets on the bus with me. Only one. And this guy literally looked like a crazy clown. I don't understand why to this day. He had like eye makeup on. Like his hair was like normal, but it was like very thin. It was like wispy, you know what I mean? It was literally like an empty bus, except uh -huh. for me. And he walked all the way and like sat basically like two seats away from me. So I'm, <laughs> I'm starting to panic a little bit. I said, uh, the doors closed, right? We start moving and the guy just turns over and looks at me. I'm very confused. I don't like it. I get uncomfortable. And what do I do when I get uncomfortable, Adam? You sweat? No, usually I try to get a snack. Oh. But I couldn't eat anything. <laughs> all right. So I start to panic because I don't know where I'm at. I'm holding a game console. This guy is staring at me. There's no one else. He looks like a clown and I got no food. <laughs> so what do I do? I make one of the worst decisions of my life and I yank the bus line. I'm like, I'm getting off at the next stop. Oh no. I didn't even wait to get home. Now, I, you know, I was thinking in the back of my mind, you know, it's whatever. That was weird. Just a weird bus ride. I'll just walk home. It's no problem. Uh -huh. The guy was maybe dressed up for a YouTube video. You know, you don't know. Yeah. Okay. So I get off and I start walking. Then I realize, this guy also got off the bus at the same time. No. So I'm no. trying to do that thing where you walk really fast, but you're not trying to look like you're running. Right. Because I was like, if I start running, this guy's going to run after me. Like, and your straight... stomach is just going to explode. <laughs> There's too many donuts. <laughs> I'm thinking, like, what do I do? Because this guy's straight up following me. And to make matters worse, I did not have a cell phone at this time. So I'm like, ah, is this the end of Justy Chromie as we know it? I use all all of my remaining IQ brain power, I realized I need to find a store that's open late at night and go inside the store. I find a convenience store that's open 24 hours a day and I walk there, the parking lot is empty. I look around and the clown is suddenly gone. I am very confused, but then 
there's one car parked in the parking lot. And the door opens and this bald guy gets out and starts walking towards me. Wait, was it the clown? <laughs> it was not the clown. It was a different guy. I was like, did the clown just eat this guy? Where did this guy even come from? I'm saying, I'm going into the store. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I go into the store and the bald guy follows me into the store. You already know I'm going straight to the chip aisle. <laughs> I'm trying to hide in some lays, okay? <laughs> trying to mind my own business. This guy comes up to me and taps me on the shoulder. At this point, I'm pretty shook. I'm like, what is happening? I said, this, this might be it, Adam. Justy might have perished on this day. He starts to reach into his coat pocket and he pulls out a badge and says, hello, I'm Officer Kennedy. He was a police officer? He was an undercover police officer patrolling the parking lot at night. So he was wearing regular clothing and he says, where did you get this game console? He thought I stole the game console. I explained the entire story to him, the clown. At this point, do I realize how crazy I must sound? Because the clown was not there. He yeah. Like, what is this kid talking about? I told him the whole story and then I made it home safely. <laughs> really? Yes. That's a true story. Dude. Yeah. He probably didn't believe you because you told him you were at your friend's house. And that would require you to have friends. And True. he would just look at you and know that's a lie. Why you got to expose <laughs> me? This kind of leads into my story, which also involves one of my friends. Now, I was a bit younger. I was actually in middle school when this happened. So, me and my friend, Ben, at the time, were like, okay, let's have a sleepover on Friday night. We were really close friends. Now, I was like, okay, come over to my place. We can, like, play video games. We can hang out. We can sleep over. It's gonna be really fun. So, to set this story up, basically, my my house is like a normal house, right? But in the backyard, we have a fence and outside of the fence, there's a big forest. Okay, okay. So I was like, Ben, think of how like cool and brave we would look if we went into the haunted forest at night and we could like tell all our friends about it. He was like, okay, cool. So I'm like, okay. At 3 a.m. at night, when my parents are asleep, we're gonna sneak out and go into the forest. 3 a.m.? Yeah, because I don't want my parents knowing or like <laughs> hearing that I was like leaving the house. So we stayed up playing video games like 3 a.m. We're like, okay, dude, like it's really late. Like, yeah. let's, let's like go. Like, this is our chance. We go into my backyard, we open the fence, and we see this massive dark forest. Oh, man. Just pitch black. So I turn on my flashlight, and I could see like maybe like five feet in front of me. Uh -huh. And we're like, okay, like, I guess this is it. Let's You're just like, go. I, this is still a good idea. Yeah. So yeah. we like slowly start walking forward. And like you could definitely hear like it was probably like false. You could hear like the crumpling of leaves as we stepped on them. So I'm I'm like leading the way with the flashlight. I'm like yeah. looking, kind of scanning across, making sure like we don't like trip over any like fallen trees oh, or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're walking, we're walking, like no one's saying anything. It's like pitch darkness. Yeah. I turn around and uh I, I heard like crackling leaves like 20 feet in a different direction, oh, like to my side. No, tell me he's still there. So I was like, oh, like maybe he like went no. over to that path or whatever. No. So I was like, Ben, nothing. I didn't hear anything. And then I heard in the distance back by my house, he was like, Adam, I went back. <laughs> what? Just, ben left you for dead. Dude, I think he got, he got scared and like turned around, but like didn't like tell me. Cause I was like way in front with the wow, flashlight. Adam, some friends you got. So then I'm standing there and I'm like, wait a minute. If he's back there, what was the noise I just heard? Oh no. I was like, Ben? And he's like, Adam, just turn back. It's fine. Like, just come back to the house. Just come back to the sound of my voice, Adam. Immediately, like when that happened, like the hairs on the back of my neck stood up and I could tell something was off. Oh. Like I got that sensation that like something or someone was watching me. So I'm standing there cause I'm like, I don't want it to like know where I am. So I turn off the uh, flashlight. Uh, what? I'm in pitch black. Wait, there's something moving around you? Yeah, like actually. And I could tell it, it's like getting closer. <laughs> what? Yeah. Just run. No, I was too scared. I was like, if I run, it's gonna chase after me. So like maybe if I just stay still, it won't see me. So I'm standing there just terrified for my life. I don't know what to do. I'm like, this is a terrible idea. I'm, I'm like, I, I can tell it getting closer and closer. I turn on the flashlight because I'm like, if I'm going to die, I might as well just see what's about to happen. Oh. I quickly point the flashlight and I see this giant rabbit huh? just sitting there. Huh? Like the rabbit was just like hopping around. Was it kooky? No, no, it was not kooky. Kooky hopping around. <laughs> no. In the middle of the forest to give you that laugh. <laughs> no, it was this giant rabbit that was making the noise. Wow. And like this giant relief just washed over me. So I like sprinted back home as fast as I could. I got back to my mom's house 
And like, I actually felt like so cool. Like, I felt like, wow, like I'm actually such a bad boy. Oh, really? No, I just cried. <laughs> <laughs> We're watching a story about a kid that becomes a Roblox billionaire after his Roblox account got deleted. What? <laughs> oh, look what we have here. Russell's backpack. I wonder what he's got inside. No, 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 right away. And this is big. No, no, that's not his backpack. It doesn't sound like it sounds like it's someone else's backpack. Oh, yeah, let's find out. Don't look at other people's stuff. Oh, look. You should never leave your laptop unattended. Hey. What? <laughs> What's going on? That's enough for me. What's, <laughs> What's going on? Okay, guys, these videos are lit. They're gonna be linked down below. He just said, ah, that, oh, only one sip. <laughs> That's enough for me, guys. You gotta calm down. Video. Make no sense, bro. We're about 10 seconds in the video. This guy just chose violence for no reason. He just oofed that laptop for absolutely no reason. What's going on? <laughs> 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 Sound like talking to him. Russell's so lucky I'm around to teach him life lessons. What? What's going on? <laughs> Time for Pet Simulator X. Great. Let's do the tech world. Okay, and now he just playing Roblox. He playing Pet Simulator X. In a cookie factory just, or something. Yeah, he's okay living my dream. <laughs> he just destroyed someone else's property, which you should never do, and is now just playing Pet Simulator X. Okay? Wow. No, we're playing fantasy. Fine. Let's hatch some eggs. None of these basics. I want the rare ones. Yeah, who doesn't? Got a corgi? Black bear, golden tiger. That's lame, I'm looking for a legendary. Hey, I see you guys are playing Roblox. That's right, Pet Simulator X. Yeah, Russell, you should join us. I uh, I think your laptop's in your backpack. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's Russell. That's, that's the guy whose laptop got poured juice on. And he's making fun of me, he's like, I think your laptop's in your backpack, check it out. Now remember guys, this video is titled, Kid Becomes a Roblox Billionaire After His Account's Deleted. So, this is gonna get nuts. This is nuts already. Okay. What is this? My laptop's ruined. Oh, looks like Russell wants to play Ocean World. I don't think so, Brock. That's not funny. Obviously, he did that on purpose so he doesn't have to play against us. Oh yeah, I'd ruined my laptop on purpose. Russell, man, what are you gonna do now? Man. Oh boy. Russell, what is he gonna do now? <laughs> this makes no sense. I don't know. I'm writing a Roblox game. It's a good thing the files are online. He's developing his own Roblox game. Wow. Okay. Oh, you are? Well, you better get a diaper for whatever computer you use. Very funny, Brock. All I can say is when my game's done, you're gonna stink at it. That is so cool you're writing a game. <gasps> when can I play it? It doesn't matter, Dylan. He's only writing that game because he's the worst at every other one. Oh yeah? Well, maybe you and I should do a competition one of these days. Maybe we could do it in a swimming pool so that you will always win. You know what? I'm out of here. I'm gonna write my game at home. <laughs> okay, guys, so this guy's about to make his own Roblox game because these guys don't want to play with him. What's going on? Why are you talking about diapers? <laughs> Why are you talking about diapers, bro? What's going on? Bye-bye, Aquaman. Dude. Don't you think you're being a little harsh? Russell's laptop is broken and he doesn't know who did it. He's going to have to find a different computer to build his game on. Hey, could you guys teach me how to play Brookhaven? Sure. No, I got it. Why is this all wet? Oh, that's Russell, he's messy. Don't pay attention to him. Now that I have my shanty next to my cove, I'm gonna put the spawn point on the other side of town, here. Oh, Russell, why are you using my laptop to do your homework? Uh, I left mine at school. Oh, okay, so he borrowed his mom's laptop. That's like what we do to make these videos. And he's making a Roblox game, and it looks pretty lit. I bet his game is gonna blow up. Dude, that's how he might become a Roblox billionaire. Wow. Uh, I'm using yours so I can build my... 
homework. Oh, really? What you working on? Uh, history. That's not history. You're playing a game. I'm not playing a game. I'm writing one. Making, playing, there's no difference. I told you, you cannot play games till all your homework is done. Oh man, she thinks he's playing Roblox. He's writing a Roblox game. It's different. Wow. Bro. Mom, I'm already getting all A's and B's. No, you're not. You're only getting a C in history. History? Who cares? The future is technology, not history. And just how are you supposed to learn about the future if you don't know about the past? Fine, I'll do my history. But I am going to be a big game developer someday. Well, that's more like it. Respect, dude. He's got dreams. I like that. I respect it. He's got the drive. Even when his laptop gets sabotaged by someone, he borrows his mom's. He finds a way to win. I like that. Let's go. Dude, what you working on? It's my new game. I'm calling it Quest Forever Lost. Looks cool. What's it going to be like? Well, it's set in the Middle Ages. Imagine a fantasy land that you can explore and participate in epic adventures. Wow. Where'd you get that idea? I came up with it myself. You've got like an ocean and village and, and people? How do you do that? Roblox has a powerful developer toolkit that I've tailored to my needs. So then I move it here. Hey, what are you guys doing? Russell's showing me the Roblox game he's building. No doubt he has to build his own because he doesn't know how to play. That's what you think. All you're going to ever be able to do is play games while I am going to make them. Well, at least I know how to play them, unlike you. Brittany, as if I even need to tell you, you got an A. Oh, wait, did I miss one? I'll do better next time. I see a couple of areas where you could improve, but otherwise... Great job, Dylan. Okay, so I'm I'm trying to follow the plot. It's a little <laughs> it's a little bit quick. So back there in that earlier scene, the meanie came back and was like, haha, you make games because you're bad at them. Okay? And him and Russell were arguing. Now it looks like the teacher is giving everyone their homework back. Right. Do you think Russell did good in school or bad in school? I bet he probably did bad because he wasn't doing good in history, and I think this is history oh, class. Oh no. B plus. <sighs> All right, Brock, 71%. I mean, C minus. 71%, that's passing, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, all right, sweet. Russell, on this test, you got a D plus. I mean, you're gonna have to pull this grade up. I'm doing really well in all my other classes. Well, if you can't do better in my class, you're gonna have to retake history. I can't retake history? What am I gonna do? Well, have you considered getting a tutor? I can offer a few referrals. Yeah, man, whatever it takes. Okay, respect. See, Russell wants to try hard. He says, I'll do whatever it takes to do good at school. Respect. Russell is a good role model, bro. He's got his mind on the grind. Right, guys. School is very important. Yeah. What year was the French Revolution? I don't know. I'm just going to Google it. Russell, you're not playing that history? Yeah, Mom. I think I'm finally starting to get it. Oh, really? History is nothing but memorization. You know, names, dates, places. Well, honey, there is more to it than that. Maybe we should get you a tutor. Yeah, that's what Mr. B suggested. Well, in that case, why not try it? Russell's mom wants him to get a tutor because she won't be happy unless he gets an A in history. Makes sense. Makes sense. Hey, dude, I, I just built my first boat and it's floating. That's not the way you play Build a Boat for Treasure. Oh, they're playing Build a Boat for Treasure. We love that game. We've played it many times and made videos about it. What do you mean that's not how you're supposed to play? You're supposed to build a boat for treasure. No, man, what you want to do is get treasure first so you can build a better boat. Look, I just got a soccer goal. Yeah, I see that. And 50 gold and 40 blocks. Where exactly do I find that anyway? So what you want to do is you want to go into this quest tab. Like right now, I'm going to load up the ramp quest to get more gold. Yeah, 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 I, I see it. I'm going to go for the target quest. So they're basically teaching us how to play Roblox. I didn't even know you could do that. I didn't either. This video's lit. Look who's here. Dylan, why are you hanging out with this Roblox noob? It's not a noob. Yeah, I'm better than you. Oh, really? Well, how many Robux do you got? More than you. 
I got 800 for my birthday. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> Guys, literally Justin just got a new Robux gift card and he won't stop showing it to me. <laughs> <laughs> you jealous? Hey, 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 me. You jealous? <laughs> I'm taking it now. <laughs> well, I've earned 1,200 so far, and my game's not even done. Well, while you're working on your game, I'm gonna be going to the Roblox Championship up in San Francisco. Dude, did you make it into the championship? Well, uh, not officially. I, I have to win two more rounds first. Don't you only have to win three rounds to get there? Yeah, but that doesn't matter. I'm the best Roblox player in the school. Uh, don't you mean second best? Well, why don't we do a little competition and make it interesting? What do you have in mind? Well, I've got 800 Robux saved up. Why don't we play winner take all? 800? That's nothing. You're on. Bring your 800 Robux. What are we playing? Blocks fruits. Blocks fruits? Yeah, whoever survives the longest, that's the winner. You're going down. Brock has challenged Russell to a winner-take-all match to decide the best Roblox player in school. I don't know why I need history tutoring. I can memorize all this on my own. There's more to history than just memorizing. You have to understand the implications. Okay, so I guess this girl who's also a student, she got like an A plus or whatever, she's his tutor. Right. Okay, what happened to the Roblox competition? It's about to happen, I guess he's studying oh, first. Oh, okay. Like the French Revolution. I know all the dates and people. What else is there to know? That's all fine. But do you know why there was the revolution? Mr. B didn't cover that. Am I supposed to know it? Yeah. That's the difference between getting a C and an A. Oh, it's kind of like Roblox. I know where and when to put things, but I need to know why people like to play. Yeah, history's like people. This saying history's like Roblox. Wow, this is really deep. So as he's learning things at school, he's also thinking, hmm, maybe I can take the things I learned in school and use them to make my Roblox game more lit. That's awesome, man. That's so cool. So yeah, if you like go to math class during school and you learn about multiplication, you can go home and program a Roblox game that has multiplication in it. That's thinking outside the box, man. Yeah. History's like people. If you don't understand it, you're going to make the same mistakes over and over again. Mom, I got my history quiz back. Really? Do I want to know? I think you do. I got a B. A B? Good job, Russell. How'd you pull that off? Well, there's this girl and she and I uh, have been tutoring together. A girl helped you? What? <laughs> <laughs> what was he gonna say? What's going on? I have a feeling he's gonna make a super popular Roblox game. He's gonna get a ton of Robux, and she might be a Robux gold digger. What? <laughs> What's going on in the video? Let's find out. A girl helped you. Is she your girlfriend? Wouldn't that be nice? She's like the most popular girl in school. Why don't you ask her out? No, I'm too nervous. I'm just gonna go upstairs and work on my computer. It better not be that game. Now, if the player wanders too far from Everlost, they'll end up in this creepy town. I'll call it Hillfair. Hey Russell, to celebrate, I'm gonna make your favorite Sloppy Joes. Russell, what are you doing? Mom, I'm making my game for Roblox. Remember, I got a B in history. I don't care if you got a B or not. You are supposed to be doing your homework right now. Well, Mom, that's not fair. You know what? You don't get to decide what's fair. I do. Oh, man, guys, don't mm. fight with your parents. But didn't she say if you get a B, you can play Roblox or whatever earlier? Yeah, that is true. He did get a B, and now she's still mad at him. I don't really understand, guys. I bet he's going to keep working on Roblox. Yeah, he loves Roblox. I could tell. All right, back to what I was doing. That game does look lit, though. Yeah. Can you explain to me what Roblox is? It's a virtual role-playing game. Well, what role am I playing? Anything you want. So how do I do that? 
First, you get your username. Then you gotta pick your avatar. Okay, I'm gonna set my username as Rebel Captain. What's an avatar? You don't know what an avatar is? What are you, living on Mars or something? No, I live on Hummingbird Lane. And they don't have those in Mars. Wait, I want mine to be a boy, not a girl. You can't be a boy, you're a girl. <sighs> Fine, whatever. Just do what I say. Okay, now what? Okay, we need to go find a lot to build your house. I don't want a house. I want to be a kid in high school. You can't be a kid in high school. You have to have a house. Okay, fine. Let's get a house. But can I get a house on the beach? No, there's no beach. You have to pick a lot and... Here's a good one. Vacant lot number 16. Okay, fine. Where do I pick one out? You can't pick one out. You have no idea what you're doing. These scenes! <laughs> it's like they just jumbled up a bunch of stuff about Roblox and just put it in a scene. These are masterpieces. What what did that what did that have to do with anything? I don't get it. So he's trying to teach her how to play Brookhaven, and she's like, oh, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, and he's like, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. Bro, wait a minute. The girl is the tutor for the one guy for history. Right? But this guy is the tutor for Roblox for the girl. So they both gonna fall in love with the girl. Oh! And it's gonna come down to a Roblox battle to decide. All right, it all comes down to 800 Robux. This is crazy, that's a lot of Robux. Now let's see what happens. Here's his Rolex. What? Now, how can I edit his account? Okay, now the mom <laughs> is playing Roblox. What's going on? Reset password. I don't think so. So what's this competition for anyway? Only to decide who's the best Roblox player in the whole school. Oh, but Brock said he's going to the national competition. Well, that's his plan, but he hasn't qualified yet. What? The gladiator has arrived. Gladiator? Dude, what's that about? It's a competition to the finish, and I need to feel the part. Oh, I get it. It's kind of like mental motivation. And where is my challenger, Russell? I don't know, man. Maybe he chickened out. Oh, no. I know him. He'll be here. Oh, look. Is it Halloween? Oh, I see you've dressed warmly. Because it's going to be a long, cold winter after you lose. Well, it looks like you're appropriately dressed for Blocks Fruit. That's right. Because you look like a grape. <laughs> okay. Well, you're not going to be laughing so much when we're done. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm tired of listening to your whining. <clears throat> Reset password. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh my goodness, wait a minute. I just realized what's going on. The mom is at home in the boy's room. She's deleting his account. She's lost, guys. She doesn't know what she's doing. No, 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 she's deleting it so he'll focus in school. Oh! She's purposely deleting his account. Now he's gonna be at school and he won't be able to play Blocks Fruits. He's gonna look like a total noob. Oh man, let's oh, see what happens. Man. Ah, here it is. Delete. Now he'll have no choice but to do his homework. Okay, you two know the rules. Whoever survives the longest is the winner. When I say go, you're gonna start. But first, log in. Okay, I'm logging in. What? What's wrong? All right, I'm in. Oh, what, you forget your password? No, my password is fine. It says my account's deleted. That means he's afraid to take me on. I don't know what happened. Russell, check to see if you have an email notification. You owe me 800 Robux, loser. Brock, that's not nice. Hang on, I'm checking into this. So, did you figure it out? Yeah, somebody deleted my account from my home computer. Oh, did you run home because you got scared? Your mom wouldn't do it, would she? Yeah, she did. Okay, Brock, I guess you win. Not fair and square. Well, I don't care how, as long as I win. I've got to straighten this out. Bye-bye, loser. Wow. 
Oh, bro. He lost 800 Robux, guys. Because of his own mom. I don't understand. His mom said if you get a B in history, you can play games. What do you think is going to happen in this video? How is he going to redeem himself? He might cry and beg his mommy to give his account back. Yeah, that's true. Or he might just start from scratch and create like a new game that's even better. Wait, he lost his game? I think so, yeah. What? Russell's Roblox account got deleted and he had to forfeit to Brock. Will he ever get all of his work back? Russell, hold up. What? How is school today? I don't want to talk about it. Well, this came in for you today from that Rolodex company. Yeah, I already know what it's about. They deleted my account. Well, you better hope that's all they did. Read it. So, what's it say? They're summoning me. I have to go there. What? What? <laughs> And now he in the private jail. <laughs> can Roblox do that? They can summon people? Yeah, I guess so. I want to get summoned <laughs> by Roblox. Hey, Roblox, if you're watching, summon me. I don't think they want to summon us. Why? Because we're really cringe. <laughs> I'll appear like that. <laughs> I'll get summoned. I can't believe they're flying me to LA. Hand on a private jet. How did they know my favorite drink? Ah, I can get used to this. There's a phone? Hello? Russell, I'm so glad I could reach you all the way up there. Brittany, it's so nice to hear from you. <laughs> <laughs> Late night when you need <laughs> Dude! Wow! You're right. She's a Robux gold digger. Wow, so he literally went from a student getting D plus to now he's sitting in the private jet, the PJ, talking to a girl and he has a soda drink in his other hand. <laughs> Life could change real fast. You could go from losing your Roblox account <laughs> to swagged out. This could be you if Roblox summoned you. Bro, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get summoned. I just realized, is it a coincidence, little coinky dink? That's the same color phone as Talking Bane. Oh, wow. Wow. All right, let's see what happens. It might be burn on the other side, bro. Yeah. Hello? Russell, I'm so glad I could reach you all the way up there. Brittany, it's so nice to hear from you. Sorry, I'm flying right now, so I'm gonna have to miss our tutoring session. Oh, I actually wasn't calling about that. This is something personal. Oh my goodness, personal? Something wrong? Oh no, nothing's wrong. Um, I was just wondering if you were taking your girlfriend to prom? Girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. Well, that's why I was calling. Brittany, are you calling for the reason I think you're calling? Yes, I am. Will you be my boyfriend? <laughs> Go, Russell! Wow! What is going on in this video, dude? <laughs> I don't understand what's going on, but this is pretty lit, guys. So this could really happen, guys. <laughs> you, 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 you chase your dreams in school, you get flown out summoned by Roblox, and just people want to date you. <laughs> That's what I'm learning. What's so funny? Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. It's gonna be me one day. Yeah, it will definitely happen to Justin. I'm gonna be on a private jet one day. It's gonna be lit. Yeah. yeah. Will you be my boyfriend? Heck yeah. What would Brock and the other guys think? I don't care what they think. I only care what you think, honey. This is your captain. We'll be landing in 10 minutes. Brittany, we're about to land in LA. I'll call you back. Okay, call me when you get back. Wow. Russell, we're fully aware of what you've been doing on Roblox. Listen, I can explain. I came up with all of those ideas myself. Are you telling me that you designed those villages, adventures, and challenges all by yourself? Well, yeah. 
Roblox is the most powerful gaming platform in the world. Well, what's your plan after you finish Quest for Everlost? That's just the first one. I have seven more I want to do. You know, just like Harry Potter or Star Wars. And you plan on doing these all by yourself? Yeah, that's why it's going to take a while. No, Russell. I don't think that's going to happen. Really? You're banning me? No, quite the opposite. We want to give you your own development team and welcome you to the Roblox family. What? Whoa! He just got hired by the CEO of Roblox. That's awesome. We're building a game. Wow. Hopefully that happens to Justin one day. Hopefully, guys. Hopefully. Me? A part of Roblox Corporation? Not just part of it. We want to make you vice president of special markets. Vice president. I like the sound of that. And would it be acceptable to start you at a half a million dollars a year? What? Let's go, dude! Wow! Guys, this, I, I think this might have been based on a true story. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> Your story. Me in the future. <laughs> so guys, I think the moral of this story is if you work hard, all your dreams can come true, man. Right. Because he was working hard, he got good grades in school, and he was making a game. And now the CEO of Roblox wants to make him a billionaire. Even after his own mom tried to tear him down and delete his account. She just wanted what's best for him. She wanted him to do his schoolwork. Right. Half a million dollars? Well, I'm going to have to think about that. Fine. I'll give you $750,000 a year. But I can't give you a raise, at least for your first 90 days. You know what? You got yourself a deal. Bravo, you won the What's so funny? Oh, man, I love this video. That's a winning smile right there. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Brock may have won the Roblox showdown, but it looks like Russell's moved on to bigger and better things. Okay. <laughs> Why is it just a freeze frame of Russell now? I didn't pause the video. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, I got it. I didn't pop. What? <laughs> We're going to be watching a true animated story about a girl who dated a famous pop star. What? You ready? Okay, let's go. I'm Mariah, and six months ago, my aunt paid for me to fly first class from Los Angeles uh -huh. to New York to whoa, go to whoa, 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 whoa. Well, wait a minute. Slow down. Is this what it's like to be rich? Slow down. Wait, 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 wait. There's a lot to unpack there, okay? We got flexed on. She got, we're three seconds into the video. We got flexed on. <laughs> she said, I got an aunt that paid for me. First of all, LA to New York. That's like as far as you can fly. That's yeah. an expensive flight. And first class? What? Well, you'll never guess who I sat next to on the plane. Okay. It was... Okay, I can't tell you his name, but what? he's a very, very famous musician. What? Oh! What? She can't leak it. Wait! It's a guy with the microphone. This reminds me of Adam Levine in oh. that Girls Like You video. Dude, what if it actually was Adam Levine? Or what if it was Adam LeClean? <laughs> <laughs> it was not me. Famous musician who plays sellout gigs in huge arenas all oh, the time. Oh, man. Let's just call him Vince. When I first saw him, I was totally starstruck, but I knew I had to ask him for a selfie. Otherwise, none of my friends would believe I'd met him. Okay, so she's on this plane with this ultra-famous pop star. Now, apparently, he's like a bad boy. <laughs> what she thinks to do is ask him for a selfie? Yeah? Is that what you would do, really? Uh, have you ever been around a famous person? No. <laughs> no, I've never left this room. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you were on a plane, and you sat down, and there's just RM next to you, yeah. would you really ask Asking for a selfie? I wouldn't do that. I'd be so I nervous. I would probably just cry. <laughs> and then start sweating a lot. Adam would go get his bags back. I'm going back to college. <laughs> I don't <laughs> belong here. When I went over, Vince was super nice. He gave me a big hug and said, hey, how are you? Okay, okay. so wait, wait, wait. He sounds like a nice guy. Yeah. I think that this story is going to turn kind of dark. I have a feeling uh, he's going to turn into like a real bad boy. What? I don't know why. I, I'm. i We're going to keep you watching. You don't have faith in people and it shows. Okay, I might be wrong, but let's keep going. We got to talking and I forgot all about the selfie because we were getting on so well. When I had to go back to my seat at the end of the flight, 
He asked for my number and said we should hang out once we are both back in LA. Oh, wow, dude. Wow. Okay, that's a flex. That's dude. a flex. Like, I went to go hang with him and I was just so fun and naturally charming that he asked for my number. She didn't even ask for his. Dude, can you imagine, like, going back to your friend group and being like, yo, I got Justin Bieber's phone number <laughs> in my phone. What is your most called phone number? That would be an ultimate flex. Mine? Yeah. I don't Pizza have Hut? <laughs> <laughs> Why you got it? And no, it's KFC. Of course, as soon as I left the plane, I immediately texted all my friends about meeting Vince. Okay, that's that's a flex. That's not like I don't think that's very nice to do. Dude, wait, her friends roasted her in the text. She's like, guys, you won't believe what I met on the plane. And one of her friends said, your mom. <laughs> Dude! That was me, and this is your text? <laughs> Who's your most called number in your phone, Adam? My mom. <laughs> yeah! yeah! She's also my only number. <laughs> so, it doesn't Adam, even count. Adam's speed dial is his mom on every number. <laughs> <laughs> but none of them believed me without a photo. It was so upsetting. My aunt's wedding was really lovely, but all I could think about was Vince. Wow! So I got home, I texted him and said, Hey, do you remember me? I'm that awkward girl you met on the plane to New York. I couldn't believe it when he wrote back. That's a pretty bold first text. A little ha ha he he. Hey, remember me? I'm that <laughs> awkward, cringy guy <laughs> from the plane. He -he. If we texted that to a girl, we would get blocked. We would get, we would get blocked. The FBI would show up. Honestly. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when he wrote back. He said, of course I remember you. You should come to my concert tonight. Whoa! Dude! <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome! Is this entire video just one long flex? I don't know, like, but like, I, like an ultra, like, okay. I got flown out first class. I sat next to a famous person. I, I didn't even ask. He asked for not my number. And then he invited me to backstage to the concert. That would be like if Ariana was like, not only did she remember <laughs> you, but she's like, yo, you want to come to my concert? I'll put you on the list for a VIP ticket. It was like a dream. Vince, a world famous pop star, wanted to see me again. The concert was great, and I went to the VIP area afterwards. Dude, I have, I don't know why I'm getting like chills watching this. I have a feeling something bad is gonna happen. It's too good of a story right now. You don't believe in true love, Adam. You think everybody's just out to play each other? Dude, I don't know. I, I don't know why Vince just giving me weird vibes. I believe in true love. Really? Yeah. Look at me in donuts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've never been betrayed once. He came straight over to me. Wow. We talked for hours. It was like we'd known each other forever. Later, we drove to his house in Bel Air, and that's when things got crazy. Oh, okay. What do you okay? What do you think is gonna happen? Okay, first of all, he lives in a very big house. I'm telling you, this is one long flex. I have a feeling that he's like using her for something. I don't know what. Like, why else would he invite this like basically nobody stranger into his life? That's a little bit rude. I'm just saying. Not everybody has okay. to want something. What's wrong with okay, you? Okay, Justin. Why do you think he invited her? I think he invited her because she was very charming and very nice and because she probably on the plane Probably when the flight attendant came through with a little car, she said I would like a pepperoni pizza And she got a pizza and he said that girl super thick Really yeah <laughs> And that's when things got crazy He had a private chef cook for us even though it was really late the food tasted amazing But Vince didn't like it he threw his plate against the wall and screamed at the Oh, oh, wait. Oh, bitch. Dude. Oh, bitch. <laughs> no, you don't, you don't do that to cake. Dude. Bitch. <laughs> wait, why is he freaking out? You got some anger management problems. He threw his plate against the wall and screamed at the chef for at least 10 minutes. I won't lie. I was shocked. The food was fine. And even if it wasn't, Vince way overreacted. Dude. True. This is so sad. Like, he's actually, like, a really mean person. He just, like, yelled at the chef, and the chef was crying. You don't feel bad? You cry all the time. Yeah, but that's for other reasons. <laughs> I know I should have immediately walked away, but it was so flattering having someone like Vince want to date me. Wait, okay, so even after that, she's still with him. If you were on a date with a girl, 
and she yeah. threw her cake on the ground and screamed at you? Yeah. Wouldn't you think that was a little weird? I would be more worried that she wasted the cake. <laughs> so I kept singing. It was a crazy time, all right? Vince was like two different people. He could be so sweet and loving, but then something stupid would set him off and he'd fly into a rage. Whoa! Dude! <laughs> what is happening? Dude, he's just easily irritable, Adam. He needs to talk to my anger management therapist, Jimmy. I'll never forget the time he called me into the stage in the middle of a gig no so way. he could sing a love song to me. He introduced me to the audience as his girlfriend, said how much he loved me. It was so romantic. That's so sweet. Okay, I mean, that's pretty legit. Yeah. Okay, that's legit. But after the show was over, he yelled at me because I didn't smile enough during the song. Oh, my. Oh, oh boy. He said he'd written it specially for me. But I found out later he didn't write any of his songs. He had a team of songwriters working for him. He had a oh, ghostwriter? He got ghostwriters. Okay, okay. At first, I was cutting Vince some slack. I would say, hey, maybe, maybe he just didn't sleep enough. Maybe he's just irritable. Uh -huh. But now I'm seeing his true colors. He is a liar and a trickster. Okay, let's see how bad this actually gets, though. Do you think she's going to stay with him? I mean, probably not. I mean, this is a pretty turbulent relationship so far. He had a team of songwriters working for him. It was hard to walk away, though. He was so attractive, especially when he was on stage with all those girls screaming his name. It's hard to describe, but when everyone wants your boyfriend, you feel like the luckiest girl alive. In the end, he took things too far, and I finally left him. I knew I couldn't stay with him, because I don't want anyone to treat me like that. If you start dating someone famous, remember, they're only humans like anyone else. After all the time I spent with Vince, I can tell you that being a pop star is quite an easy job that doesn't require any discipline or- Huh? Wait, 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 this story, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, that's cool, and then what? Wait, both of them are now just confusing both me. Both of them are trolls. I don't think being eight star is easy. That's like the hardest job in the world. What you talking about? Quite an easy job that doesn't require any discipline or superhuman abilities. Ben spent more time partying than he did working. I don't regret dating him, though, because it was a real experience living the pop star lifestyle. But at the end of the day, just because someone is famous for their love songs doesn't mean they're actually loving. After we split, I saw an interview with him where he was asked about why he's so successful. Uh -huh. Can you believe he actually said he's super hardworking and always searching for his next song? That was nothing like the Vince I knew. I hope you were able to learn something from my story. And please don't forget to subscribe That's to this the channel. the whole story? Okay, so I guess the That's moral the is... Whole story? Don't date famous people? That's not a moral. Okay, that story was definitely really weird. Let us know what you guys thought of it. Now, Adam, let me do a little simulation. Let me come out here with some cake. Okay. okay Adam, now you can have some. Yeah. Okay. How is it? I don't really want it. Huh? I am breaking up with you! <laughs> now, this is another Darman video, but this is based on a true story. I don't think the other ones we've seen, those are based on lessons. Yeah. This is a true story. Right. Bruh. All right. We're sisters, just like us. And sisters always stick together, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Wow, that's cute. Sisters always stick together. <laughs> Rocky says me and Sticky would stick together. Yeah. Bruh. I'd like to introduce you to your new mom. She just adopted you. Hello, Bella. It's nice to meet you. Are you ready to go to your new home? Yeah. Bruh. Oh, look at how sad the other sister nah, is. The nah, one that didn't nah, get adopted. Nah, 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 nah. I can't watch I'm gonna start nah, crying. Nah. I, I can't watch this, bro. I can't watch this, bro. This is gonna be nah. so sad. I can't watch this. My heart hurts. My heart hurts. We're only like two seconds into the video. I can't. You know, on one hand, I'm happy for the sister. She was adopted. I'm sad because they're getting separated, bro. Yeah. Bro, that's crazy, bro. Come on, Adriana. Let's go. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, sweetheart. But only Bella got adopted. I'm not even without her. Yeah, you can't take my little sister away from me. 
Bro. This is heartbreaking. Yo, how are they such good actors, bro? Somebody give them an award, bro. Yeah. <gasps> I'm gonna cry, but I don't cry. This is you holding back the tears. Don't let them out, Justin. You're stronger than that. Don't let the tears fall. Try your hardest, Justin. Don't you dare cry. You gotta be strong. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting tense here in Lanky Box. She's the only family I have left. Why can't we both get adopted? I wanted to adopt a child that was a little younger. I'm sorry. Being totally serious, I don't really know how this process works. Maybe people can let us know in the comments. Can you do this? Can you just separate siblings? I think so. Seriously? I don't really know. Man, that makes me sad. You think that really happens? I mean, it says based on a true story, I guess that happens. Yeah. Bro, that's crazy. We have to. I'm sorry. Nah. No matter what happens, we'll always be sisters, okay? Nah, bruh. We can't keep going, man. That's crazy, bruh. I don't think I can handle this. This is a true story, man. This happens, man. This probably happens all the time. Yeah. I'm stressed out. I can't keep watching. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because you're so serious. Do I look like this funny? It's not funny. Like what's funny? You. Not the video. The video is not funny. Like, what's Your reaction funny? is funny. It's not funny. <laughs> okay. Welcome to what wants to adopt me. You'll find a family one day, sweetheart. She spends a lot of time in the foster care system in hopes of getting adopted by someone. No one chooses Adriana because she's older than all the other kids. Bruh. Okay, now, as we always do, Adriana, she really wants to get adopted. How do you think this story is going to end? This is a tricky one. This is not like one that we can really predict what's going to happen. I have no idea, bruh. I really don't know what's going to happen. Bruh. Maybe later on in life, the two sisters get reconnected in like 20 years in the future or something. Yeah, and then they adopt sisters, but they keep them together. We'll see. She happens to get interviewed by a reporter who's doing a story on adoption that would change her life forever. If you could have three wishes, what would they be? What would be your three wishes? <laughs> Like that's, <laughs> that's funny? Like, how that be funny? It's not a funny time! <laughs> what is it? Thickness? <laughs> no! My wish would have they'll be reunited. You really said thickness? What would your three wishes be? My three wishes would be to finally have a friend. Then my other wish would be to have another friend. Your wish for two friends? Two now, friends. now you're being greedy. Yeah. Now you're being greedy. Yeah. What's the third wish? Um, a jump rope. <laughs> So that both the friends could hold it on each side and I could skip in the middle. These sisters are gonna wish that they're reunited. You wish for a jump rope, my guy? <laughs> what are you gonna wish for? I wish for infinite love and happiness and peace and prosperity for everyone on planet Earth. Wow. Yo, did this guy said a jump rope? My three wishes would be family, family, and family. Like, how? How is that funny? I shouldn't have wished for a jump rope. No, you shouldn't have. <laughs> you really shouldn't have wished for two people to hold a jump rope around you in a circle, my guy. I want a loving friend group and family. You just change your answer to match hers? Well, my third wish could be that I get to change my wishes to nah, the first two. Nah, you wish for family, friends, and a jump rope. <laughs> this, he said jump rope. I don't know. Yeah, you clearly don't. Now, I, mean, I, I said that because I was nervous. You said jump rope because you're nervous? Yeah, I panicked. I, I cracked under the pressure of you. We don't crack under pressure. I'm rock solid. Because I got you just looking at me all the time. Yeah, that. I can't concentrate when I have that in my true, face. True. I just want a mom, not a dad, or even just a mom, or just a dad. I'll be happy with anyone. She'll be happy with anyone. Just one person. You I want one two. friend. You asked for two and a jump, bro. <laughs> Just one friend. I told you you were being want. greedy. I told you. Fine, I would say one friend and then I'd give the other two woes away. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right, my friend, Justin? If I had three wishes, I wish for global <laughs> peace, prosperity, happiness, love, and my second will be get this man an Asian vacation. Like she says, we must. We must. <laughs> Is your hand all right? No. Once the video interview of Adriana went live, 
It ended up going viral and getting millions of views online. The adoption agency ended up receiving thousands of applications within days, all asking to adopt Adriana. And then one day, her wish for getting adopted finally comes true. Hi. You must be Adriana. We are so excited to meet you. Let's go! She did it! Let's go! Wow, I did not, that was a twist ending. And it's not even over yet, guys, but that was a twist. Let's go! Thanks. You must be Jim and Mary. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually call us mom and dad, if that's okay with you. I would love that. Oh, and we've actually got a little surprise for you. Nah. Wait, is it what? It's, it's her sister, bruh. That's the toy from what? Wait. How'd they get how'd they get is that? This? That was the no! What the heck? Wait, what? Are those parents magicians? They made the daughter appear out of thin air? How did they do that? Wait, I thought she was in a different family. That's what I thought. Maybe the mom transformed or something. What? How did she switch families? I don't know. We're about to find out, aren't we? Yeah. Maybe they're related to the first lady. All of the moms are sisters or something. Oh, um, yeah, you know. But I don't uh. understand. It didn't work out with Bella's last family. So I was able to pull a few strings. Because, after all, Sisters always stick together, right? Ah! Oh, families always stick together no matter what. Ah! What a great ending to the video. Dude, that's a real story, bro. That wow. really happened, bro. That really do be happening, bro. Wow. That yes. was a heartwarming story. We went through every emotion. Guys, for real, this is a very, very cute story. We are pretty mm. much dummies. Like, that's we a were... beautiful story. What you mean? Yeah. 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 They know we're dumb. We were being say? goofy. What part of me? <laughs> Goofy. I'm dead serious. <laughs> you were laughing the whole time. Yeah, try, because if try, you try to blame me on me, you because you're blame on me. You are funny. You asked for a jump roll. <laughs> that wasn't me. Flying eggs are pretty impressive, Mr. Eggman. Don't worry, I know exactly what to do. Don't worry, I know exactly <laughs> what to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> In this next shot, you're gonna be Sonic, I'll be Knuckles, and we're gonna have like a really cool action scene together. Okay, yeah, let's do it! Cool! Okay, you ready, Sonic? <laughs> back up! I'm saying it! Gotta go fast! <laughs> I'm gonna pick you up like in the video. <laughs> Get off me! Nuggets! <laughs> Gotta eat fast! No, I'm holding nuggets! 